Today we're at Murray Yacht Sales in Clear Lake Shores and our good friend Joel Turner just got in this brand new Beneteau 38.1 and Patricia's going to give you a tour of her. I'm Patricia. And I'm Dave. We sold our house. And in April of 2021, we took delivery of a brand new Genoa 440. Since then, we've been outfitting and upgrading the boat with everything we will need for the cruising lifestyle. We've been learning to sail here on the Texas coast, but we're ready to cast off the dock lines in 2023. So come join us for the adventure. Hey, today we're at Murray's Yacht Sales Open House, checking out the new Beneteau Oceanus 38.1. And uh, I'm going to take you guys for a tour on this nice uh, sailing vessel. Okay, so stepping into the cockpit, dual helms. Looks like this is the secondary and this is the primary helm. And uh, let's see, comfortable. Uh, they got B and G's and a Yamar engine. Don't even ask me how to pronounce the name of this bow thruster, <laughs> but it's the same one we have. Good. <laughs> um, so they got the, I like this. I like the way the autopilot is set up like this with the touch buttons. That's pretty nifty. See the height of this. This is a good height. Good height helm. And then here's the throttle. Not quite sure you gotta reach over the wheel for that, but it's not too bad actually, because the wheel's down low enough. Um, and then in here, it's got this massive uh, cockpit table, but there's, but there's no storage in the center. So I kind of uh, don't like that, but Hey, it's a 38-foot boat. Uh, then over here you have your winches. Looks like this one's electric. This one's just the regular. And uh, the cell bags, which are really nice. Keep your lines nice and tidy. And the other winches are back here. Are these uh, electric? I don't see any buttons on that one. Uh, no buttons over here, so I'm gonna have to do some cranking on this one. Um, okay, and then what is this, a wet locker? Yeah. Whoa, no, that goes straight into the cabin. Wow. You mean to tell me this is all storage? <gasps> Ooh, this is awesome, I didn't know that much storage was possible on a 38 foot boat. Wow. And uh, by the way, this is the two cabin version with, I don't even know what you call it, the one head and one shower room, which is really cool. So let's go inside. Okay, so they got the nice French doors. And I uh, come aboard right away. I notice a, let me take my sunglasses off. Pretty good headroom. Um, not like that's ever a problem for me. Uh, and then uh, over here we have the galley. With two burner stove. Uh, got the top loading fridge. Goes pretty deep and cabinetry, which I am pretty jealous of. And they're deep. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. And they also have this uh, bar going all the way across. See, pretty nice. And then over here, it's even more storage. You can fit a lot of food in there. So anyways, under the stove, and it's a gambling stove, of course. 
is more storage. I would probably put pots and pans down there. A lot better than our situation. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Wow, that goes way back there. I definitely feel like the galley and the bentos are better than the genos. Um, and this blew my mind earlier. Look at that. It's a little trash can in the head automatically opens up. And in here, this is nifty too, for your, all your silverware. So the galley is equipped with just one big sink instead of two sinks. Now some people prefer to have their wash and rinse sink, but honestly on a boat this size, both of those sinks are going to be too tiny to get any pots in. So really, on a smaller boat, I think we're better off with just one deep sink. Okay, and then back here is a cabin with a massive bed. I think you need to sh come in here and see how big the bed is. So it's like two twins, or would these be single? I don't know. It's like massive. But it's a lot more headroom. Than yeah, ours. definitely. Cause I'm sitting up on the bed. That's impossible on the 440. Um, and then closet and they got shelves instead of hanging, but you know what? I think shelves are the way to go. It's like, cause you just get more clothes and shelves than hanging them. You can put a lot of stuff on here too. And more stuff back there. A nice little ridge. Lots of windows in here too. This one's coming down. Yeah. Okay. Does this one open up? Yeah, all these things open up. All these hatches too, so you get some cross ventilation. That's good. Now I'm noticing all these big holes in the floor, which Let's check out the bilge situation. Okay. A lot easier to pick these up than having to use suction cups, but with these big holes means a lot of dirt's gonna fall into your bilge. And this is the creme de la creme. It's a full shower room. So put the shower up here adjustable but I mean this is crazy big for a boat this size amazing and then you got your seat and uh, storage for products lots of product storage and then over here is the head you got sink, toilet, and that, does that come up? This could also be a wet head if two people need to take a shower at a time, but I'm like, just wait for the good shower to be free, come on. Actually, there's enough room for both of you to shower. <laughs> yeah, if you're in that kind of thing. So, lots of wine storage. French boats, you know, they do not short their wine storage. And then down here, and then is this more wine, more wine storage. So if you're going to buy one of these French made boats, you better like drink the wine. All right, let's check out the comfort of these uh, settees. Not bad. I, I do kind of like the height of it. It's like good to put your arms up on. And here's a nav station, which I don't think you're doing much navigation here, but, uh, yeah, all your controls back here. Ooh, I like the buttons instead of the touch screen. Yeah, I like that panel a lot actually. <laughs> um, radio. What is this? You can fit a few things in there. That's a pretty narrow cabinet. And then what is this? Another cabinet back here. 
Yeah, that's that's a good cabinet size. And then of course, more storage. Probably squeeze a few things in here if you need to. Okay. And then let's go to the Ford cabin. Good size bed. Um, it's not quite rectangle, but you could probably use regular sheets on here because it's a very small cutoff. Um, what we found is the double doors give it a studio. To yeah, let's start. I need to show these double doors off. Okay, so yeah, here's the double doors in action. <laughs> and I really like the latches on this boat that holds the doors in place because let me tell you, the magnet ones aren't good. You want real latches. But hey, look at this feature. This is how you keep your bed on, babe. <laughs> we need this. This is like a frame around the mattress. I think I just solved one of our biggest problems. Sliding mattress. Why does the mattress slide? Oh, you know. <laughs> um, one little drawer. Eh, maybe for panties or shoes, I don't know. But, gonna have to come in here, honey. We have a hanging closet. And then this is a little area for storage too. And then here is shelves. So you got a pretty good closet space on here. Oops. Um, I think we need to showcase these latches for the doors. See, so look at that latch. You're gonna crush me. <laughs> they get the ideal. All right. Yeah, that that's that door's not going anywhere. What else? So, like I said, there's a brand new boat, you know. Got all this extra canvas in here. This is pretty shallow, but you could probably fit something here. This is a lot better. This would be a good area if, you, if you're like me and you need to have bedtime water. <laughs> this is a good area to put a water. And these lights are nice, nice reading lights. We're gonna switches for those though. You have to get up out of the bed to turn them off or are they on there? Huh. I have no idea. Oh, the switch is right on the lights. Yeah. Oh wow, that's nifty. So each light has their own switch to turn on and off. So no hopping out of the bed to turn the lights on and off. Sweet. All right. Under the stairs, which I love, they're very gradual, we have the engine compartment, a Yammer, and you see there's panels, so you can get to it from every direction. That's a beautiful engine, isn't it? So, it has the classic Oceanus arch. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you call this thing, but it is pretty nice because you can put grab rails on it. And these are sturdy grab rails. And then here's one out here too, to help you get out. And uh, let's see, interesting. The way their, their main is set up. Huh. So yeah, it's got yeah, a- it's not really a traveler. Yeah, it's not a traveler. We need to look up and see what that's called. Yeah. Huh. And then, uh, it has the end mass furling. I think they got it furled a little, a little far in there, but. Self tacking jib. Oh, yeah, the self tacking jib. And this is nice to have the clamp of a cleat <laughs> um let's see what else what do they got up here windless anchor all right 
looks like they got there's an anchor locker an anchor yeah it's a uh, rig for a code zero we'll leave you with one last quick walkthrough of this boat and if you're interested joel's contact information is in the description below along with all the specifics of the boat make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time